Chemistry and Mechanics in Fireworks Since its creation in China during the Tang Dynasty, gunpowder has been implemented for many purposes, one of which is fireworks. For centuries, fireworks have been used for entertainment due to the variety of colors, noises, and designs they can create, and have progressed in complexity and variety along with human scientific innovation. The creation of fireworks has become its own science, with a complex set of mechanical and chemical factors going into the making of a firework. When fireworks were first created in China, they used gunpowder as the primary explosive ingredient, similar to most fireworks today. The gunpowder was made of sulfur, charcoal, and saltpeter, with sulfur and charcoal functioning as fuel and saltpeter functioning as an oxidizing agent. This gunpowder was compressed inside a stick of bamboo and ignited, producing a flash of light and a loud crack. These fireworks were used in celebrations by the Chinese. With the arrival of Western travelers and explorers, the fireworks quickly spread to other parts of the world. The modern recipe for gunpowder is similar to the ancient Chinese recipe, usually containing potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur in a 75 to 15 to 10 ratio by weight. The explosion of gunpowder releases a large amount of gaseous products, as summarized by the equation below. If loosely compressed, gunpowder fizzles. However, more tightly compressed gunpowder can be made to burn faster, and thus release gaseous products faster. In most modern fireworks, compressed gunpowder is located in the charge, which is connected to a fuse. Lighting the fuse triggers the gunpowder, which propels the firework into the sky. The charge does not create the displays of light that fireworks are associated with. The colors of the fireworks are created by the aerial shell. The aerial shell is usually located above the charge and contains gunpowder and stars. A secondary fuse, called a time delay fuse, is connected to the primary fuse that goes to the charge and the aerial shell. The time delay fuse is made to run down at the peak of the firework's height, so that the aerial shell explodes in the sky. The gunpowder contained in the aerial shell acts in a manner similar to the gunpowder in the charge. However, the aerial shell explodes outwards, instead of directionally like the charge. In traditional eastern fireworks, gunpowder was packed in the center of the shell, with stars placed around it. In European fireworks, and most modern fireworks, the stars are placed in different configurations to create designs with the stars instead of the spherical effect achieved by the configuration of traditional eastern fireworks. The stars in the aerial shell are composed of four elements, a fuel, a colorant, an oxidizing agent, and a binder. The binder keeps the star together and is usually made of some sort of resin. The oxidizer and fuel provide energy in the form of heat for the colorant and regulate the temperature at which the firework explodes. The colorant, usually a metal salt, changes the color of the firework. A chlorine donor may also be present to intensify the color, although the chlorine donor is often also the oxidizer. The oxidizer and fuel react in an exothermic reduction oxidation reaction, meaning electrons are transferred between molecules during the reaction. The oxidizer, or oxidizing agent, oxidizes the fuel, meaning it takes away some electrons. The fuel gives the oxidizer electrons, meaning it acts as a reducing agent. The oxidizer is usually a salt containing chlorates or perchlorates. When these chlorates combust, they release the oxygen contained in them, which reacts with carbon or sulfur in the fuel. These reactions can reach temperatures of up to 2000 degrees Celsius, which makes the fireworks brighter by giving more energy to the colorant, and larger in size by making the gases produced by the explosion expand at a quicker rate. Without colorants, fireworks would appear orange, yellow, and white, due to the incandescence created by the high temperature at which they explode. However, Colorants change the color of the fireworks by absorbing the energy of the oxidizer fuel reaction and emitting it as light. As colorants absorb heat from the explosion of the star, electrons in the metal move to a higher energy level, known as excitation. These levels, also referred to as orbitals, are quantized, or discrete, 
and each change in energy level corresponds to a change in wavelength. Thus, when the electron moves from its excited state back to its ground state, it emits the energy in the form of a photon. The different colors in fireworks are the products of different metal salts. Since the electron orbitals are specific for elements, and exact wavelengths are preferred for vivid colors, certain metals are used to make certain colors. The metals in stars are present as compounds containing metal and an oxyanion or halide, such as nitrate, carbonate, or chloride. Ancient fireworks often used iron filings to create white sparks. However, the advancement of European technology allowed for metals such as strontium, barium, or copper, among many others, to create more vibrant displays. Many metals can be mixed to create new colors, intensify one or more colors, or create smoke or glitter effects. Colorants must be mixed in very precise amounts, since the presence of some metals can drastically change the effects of others. Because chemical reactions are not perfect, not all of the materials in fireworks are used up in reactions. The remaining particulate matter, due to its microscopic size, can stay in the air for hours or days after fireworks displays. Chemicals produced as a result of the fireworks can also pollute the environment. Some heavy metals and gaseous byproducts of fireworks negatively impact the environment around the launch site. The use of many metals in fireworks, such as lead, cadmium, or mercury, has either been halted already or is currently being eliminated due to the environmental effects of such metals. Many fireworks are not simply explosive stars. Fireworks often have designs and effects achieved by different star compositions and arrangements. Twinkling lights, smoke, and spark trails are produced by elements mixed into the stars. Different designs are produced by arranging the stars into different shapes around the aerial shell, sometimes repeated several times in one shell to increase the effect. Different noise effects can also be produced by manipulating the speed at which the firework travels or the rate of reactions in the firework. The rate of reactions can be controlled by varying either the particle sizes of the ingredients or their purity. The most basic firework design is a spherical shell with stars that leave no trail. Stars can be modified to leave a trail of sparks, creating what is known as a chrysanthemum, or to burn for a significantly longer time, creating a weeping willow effect. Fireworks can also be modified to leave a trail as they ascend and when the shell explodes, creating the appearance of a palm tree. A multi-break shell may contain smaller shells that are propelled outwards and explode a distance away from the larger shell. Salute shells are shells that produce a loud crack upon explosion, usually accompanied by less impressive visual effects. In professional or large-scale fireworks displays, the fireworks are usually arranged several hours before launch and are triggered electronically, which is done by a computer pre-programmed to launch specific fireworks at specific times. When the signal is sent from the computer to the launch pad, the fuse connected to the charge quickly runs down and the firework is launched into the sky. The fuse connected to the shell is then triggered, exploding the shell and sending ignited stars outward. Advancements in chemistry and mechanics continue to lead to the creation of new colors, designs, and effects in fireworks. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed, leave a like or a favorite, share the video with your friends, or even subscribe for more educational content. Check out some of the other videos on this channel, or check out the featured channels for more content.